I share your concern that a lot of people who want revival and pray for it and wait for it uh, are otherwise unwilling to be engaged. They're just waiting wow. for, for God to come down, but to stay disengaged. Because historically, Seth, the kind of social transformation we're all looking for in the growing darkness in this country yeah, yeah, come on. have always flowed out of spiritual awakening. Yeah. Wilberforce's anti-slavery movement came because he was impacted by the 18th century First Great Awakening in, in England. We've been praying for these things Amazing. for 30 years now in, in prayer meetings. But I think we've missed that other piece, even when, you know, even when the prophets, Daniel gets a, is reading the prophets, right? Yeah. He's in captivity. He's a wise government a, a counselor and administrator. He's in Babylon's government. He's reading Jeremiah's prophecy that after 70 years, God says there, that, that people will go back. And he starts praying into that. Yeah. Uh, so, so it's prayer and action. That's right.